Happy New Year and welcome to my latest video. In this one I'd like to discuss about what I learned about photography in the past year as well as show you a few of the images that I ended up with. The first one that's going to pop on the screen is the first image I took during the year. It's not my favorite but it was the first one then I did take it on New Year's Day so I thought I'd pop it up there. What I did learn though was it's really difficult to shoot panoramas in seascapes. Unless you do a really long exposure it's really tough. And the other thing that I learned was you can shoot them obviously with different exposures and blend them together but also to shoot them at a wide angle and then shoot the sun or the moon if you're doing a moonrise at say 200 millimeter and then fix this the size of the moon whatever you want it and blend it back in where it was in the sky but it adds to a better image the other thing you can do is just shoot it at five or six hundred millimeter but you have to be standing way back This is one of my favorite images from the year. My grandson it was a wet morning. Um, the other thing that I learned was that if they don't want their picture taken, don't take their picture. Because a half hour, hour later, they're going to ask for their picture taken. So don't always put the camera in their face. They don't like it. I mean, they're people too, right? So just don't do it. There's going to be plenty of opportunities to get candid shots. But as they get older, they don't always want their picture taken. So just don't do it. And also try to be at eye level or maybe a little bit below eye level. This is one example where my grandson didn't want his picture taken. And 10 minutes later, he was begging me to take his picture. So just respect what they want. This was another one where he didn't want his picture taken. But then a few minutes later, he said, okay. And that's kind of why you have the look that you get. So just respect their wishes. Otherwise, they're not going to like you having the camera around. And that's what you don't want. The other thing I learned during the year was infrared. I was watching a video from Thomas Heaton. And he picked up a infrared camera. And it kind of made me want to jump into the infrared world a little bit. Mostly because I wanted to see if I could get better black and white. And so I got one at a 7200 filter to try to get more dramatic black and white. Which I think you can. You have to work it a little bit. Uh, I don't know that it's more dramatic than a regular black and white uh, image. But obviously it's different because it's infrared. And I, I'm still learning how to do it but I tend to like it. I did learn a lot from a fellow by the name of Rob Shea who's here on YouTube so if you want to learn more about infrared I suggest you go over and watch some of his videos. And the other thing I learned was that you could shoot macro. I actually did a video on that. This was macro and using the infrared camera. We took a trip to Europe and they were going through a really bad heat wave and the skies were just dreadful. And in most places when you're on a tour, you're only there one day. So you have to get what you can get. So what I decided to do was take some of those images that were looking kind of dreary and I lowered the texture and the clarity and played around with the saturation and made them look a little different rather than just these flat skies. And that one there, yes, I did add the cloud because the sky was just dreadful. And so, you know, I had to learn a new technique until you did get times when you could go back to shooting a decent image, like this one here is okay. Um, I like to shoot black and white. This was shot early in the morning in Lucerne, Switzerland, probably 7 o'clock maybe in the morning. And the sky was just beautiful. The other thing I learned was that you could do handheld panoramas without a tripod. I've always used tripods in the past, 
but because I wasn't carrying one around in Europe, I shot a bunch of panoramas handheld, and they held up, I think, pretty well. This was actually a panorama going up and down. So take advantage of whatever weather that you can get and just learn a technique on a different way to present it. But lastly, just go out and take your camera and see what you can find and shoot whatever there is. Just enjoy your photography. Enjoy taking images. They don't always have to be of cityscapes or mountains or, you know, beautiful cities. Just go and shoot your neighborhood. Go shoot some flowers and enjoy your camera and enjoy the new year. So until then, Happy New Year, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And by the way, hit that like and subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.